My name is Tom Barnes, and to help you with your decision making, I'm going to give you a quick comparison between oak and sweet chestnut cladding. Now, both of these wonderful timbers grow in this country. We buy um, all of our sweet chestnut from the south of England. The oak comes from uh, the UK, and also some of it comes from France. The sweet chestnut uh, shouldn't be confused with horse chestnut, which is a completely different tree um, and not used for cladding. Both of these timbers are naturally durable, and by that I mean that they will last outside without any kind of a coating or treatment. And they get their durability from the fact they both contain tannic acid, or tannins, which resists rot. And because of this, both of these timbers are widely used for exterior cladding. Now, oak is our favourite harbour in this country. Um, we, we use it for all sorts of things, but it is, it is used for exterior cladding. Um, now, the reason people tend to choose oak is because it, it, it's a beautiful timber. It has a very tight grain, unlike the more open grain of the softwoods. Um, and also, it, it's, very, it's very hard, which means it will resist knocks and scrapes better than something like cedar wood. However, what you do need to know about oak is it is inherently unstable. And by that I mean when the moisture content changes, i.e. through the seasons, the wood will grow and shrink. And that also means it will cup and distort as it's doing a small amount. So oak will not stay as straight and true outside as another species might. You also do need to really take account of the tannic acid, the tannin in oak because, um, which also exists in the chestnut, but, but it, it will cause problems with any ferrous metal. So if you use a steel fixing, um, you will get blue stains, and it will also um, stain anything porous that is beneath the cladding, such as sandstone or render. Sweet chestnut is a relatively unloved, in, in some ways unknown, timber in this country. Um, but it is quite similar to oak, and as you can see, the, the, the colour is not too dissimilar. Although um, chestnut starts off slightly paler, and actually the colour is a bit more consistent than with oak, where there can be quite a bit of colour variation. Um, the chestnut is um, actually much more stable than oak, so as the weather changes, the boards will stay um, straight and true. Um, and it is lighter weight than oak. However, it is softer than oak, so uh, if it gets knocked and damaged, it will show bruises more easily. Now, I've mentioned a couple of times the tannin in both oak and chestnut, and uh, the reason I keep bringing this up is because if there's one problem that does occur with, these, with these, both of these options, it is the tannin and the problems it can cause. So I've mentioned the fact that you must use stainless steel and this is really, really important because I do see projects where people save a bit of money on fixings, put in some coated fixings and end up with blue stains on every single fixing point and it's really, really sad to see. So just don't, don't skimp on fixings, use stainless steel and you won't have a problem. Also be aware, as I said, that tannin will wash out of the cladding. Now this normally happens quite quickly after the first two or three rain showers, most of the tannin will be washed out. So if you have got anything porous beneath the cladding, then do cover it. So if you've got sandstone, if you've got render, do cover it because it will stain brown otherwise. The other thing to be aware of is in semi-sheltered areas um, where there's enough moisture in the air to bring the tannin out, but not enough to wash it away, you can get those sort of brown tide marks. Now, they're, they're a bit unsightly, but you can wash them away with, with products that include the likes of oxalic acid. The other thing I've mentioned is the stability of these species. Now, this is quite important when it, when it comes to how you're going to fix it to the wall. So where you have a, a stable species such as sweet chestnut, um, you can use more delicate uh, secret nail TNG joints. But something that's unstable like oak, we would recommend that you only use a very simple lap joint and then secure the board simply through the face. So by way of a quick summary, oak is hard, it's tough, but it's a little bit unstable. Sweet chestnut is light, much more stable, 
but it is a bit softer. Both of them are naturally durable, both contain tannin, and they're actually very similar price-wise. Oak and sweet chestnut are two options for timber cladding. They're both natural, renewable, and for the most part from local woodlands. So I'd ask you to help us support those local woodlands by specifying locally grown timber.